Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use wget to download files. First, let's look at how we can use wget to download a single file. As you can see right now, I'm in the Ubuntu official repository. And if I go into the Vim folder, I can see a bunch of different files inside. And if I want to download just one single file, I will easily get the link, go back to my terminal, and use wget and paste the link. This will download a single file. But what if we want to download the whole folder instead? Now, if we try to download this whole folder, you can see that wget doesn't actually download the whole folder, but instead downloads an index.html file. So in order for us to be able to download all the files inside this folder, we would have to add in some extra commands. So the first option that we need to add is dash R. Now what this does is that it will download all the files recursively, meaning that it will download all the files within this folder. The next option that we can add in is dash N and a capital H. This will remove the hostname parent directory this means that the output of the files downloaded will be ubuntu slash pull slash main slash v slash vim. Now, we can also cut directories to shorten the name by using hyphen hyphen cut hyphen ders equal followed by how many directories we need to cut. So for example, with npn nh, we can ignore the first parent in the URI. Now, if we specify 1 as the number of directories we want to cut, the output of the file would be pull main v slash vim. We can further cut or reduce the amount of parent directories by increasing the numbers. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this will output all the file into a folder slash vim. So as you can see, right now it's downloading all the files into a folder called vim. Alright. Next, let's look at how we can ignore files to download. For example, if we go back up on the log, we can see that the index.html file is still being downloaded. So what can we do to avoid this from happening? Let's go back up into our command and add in one more option. We can use hyphen uppercase R followed by the file that we want to ignore. So the file that we want to ignore here is index.html followed by a star to spec as a wildcard to avoid any sort of index.html files from being downloaded. And once we run this, you can see that the file is rejected because we have specified to remove or reject that file. Now, what if we want to run wget in the background and not have the logs show up in the terminal? In order to do that, let's go back to our command. First, we're going to go to the front of the command and add in no hup or no hub. And then at the end of the line, we add in an n percent. There, now it is running in the background. We can run different commands and use our terminal like how we would normally and wget will run in the background and finish by itself when it is done downloading. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.